Joining me today is Kyle Plants, who is a political reporter for New Hampshire Journal. Uh, Kyle, so education. I, I know there's a lot of things going on. I think recently you had a story about it. Um, it was a little wonky, but I, I want to just dip into the details there. But let's start sort of in generality. Um, do we think we're going to see uh, a, a real movement that deals with student school choice where parents can send public funds to private or even religious schools? Is that is that going to get through both? Will the governor sign it? Uh, I believe the if that bill makes it through uh, the respective legislature, the House and the Senate, uh, I believe the governor would sign it because that is something he campaigned on um, when he was governor. Um, it is something that he has talked about a lot. And so if it, that bill makes it to his desk, I believe he'll sign it. Now, of course, as you said, there are some kind of issues kind of uh, going on with it, whether the legality, um, and if it goes against the, the Constitution. And so those are definitely some things that the legislature will have to work out. Or if they choose not to, uh, it'll definitely end up in the court system here as well. So, um, and so, uh, but I also want to get to that other, there was uh, the thing uh, that dealt about shifting power to... Yeah, so obviously, I mean, this all kind of uh, culminates or the heads with Frank Edelblu, who yeah. is this controversial figure heading uh, the uh, Department of Education. He's our state education commissioner. Uh, has no experience necessarily in public education. Um, and in fact, his kids are homeschooled. So uh, Democrats and, and public school advocates are, are very concerned about him heading uh, this, this uh, body. Of, of the government and right. so but but he finished very I mean, he was number two in the yeah he was uh, yeah he was definitely close May number two so obviously there's kind of some wheeling and dealing going on there that he didn't challenge the results because they were within a margin of error um, so it, it is interesting to kind of see those dynamics but uh, yes there's an amendment uh, uh, proposed by Senator John Reagan uh, that's going to be attached to a bill that has actually nothing to do with what this amendment is dealing with um, that would actually shift and, and give more authority to the state education commissioner um, and uh, the plan actually within this amendment is to eliminate four divisions within the uh, Department of Education um, and then the State Commi uh, Education Commissioner will create four new ones but they don't actually know what those are going to be and then he can also shift money um, between different accounts and things like that within the Department of Education as long as it's under $75,000. Now these are just major concerns for public school advocates that say there's a lack of transparency. Um, how are we going to know who he's going to appoint to these different divisions since he's already as I said a controversial character. Uh, they're, they're definitely concerned about what's going to be happening here and he's also, Frank Edelblu is a uh, school choice advocate as well. So um, they're concerned about giving more funds to charter schools and taking those away from uh, the public school system. So uh, do, will the the bill should make it through the House if it makes it yeah, through Yeah, so there's the a Senate? couple bills kind of dealing with school choice right now. I mean, there's one uh, that's known as the Croydon Bill, which would allow uh, funds, uh, taxpayer funds, to be able to go to uh, private schools and uh, potentially religious schools. As I said, that's a controversial uh, a part of yeah, it because... The, the state constitution, for, state for constitution specifically prohibits it, doesn't specifically it? Specifically prohibits uh, funding for that. But there are kind of different loopholes and ways to go around doing that, whether that's through school vouchers. Um, there's a bill right now also in the uh, legislature dealing with creating education uh, freedom savings accounts, which uh, you give them to the parents essentially to use and then they can use them for whatever they want. So there's these kind of different ways that they can get around that. Um, but as I said, if this bill does make it through and the governor does sign it, you can definitely expect it to see it in the courts and people challenging it. So, uh, but back, but the, it's not a challenge for Edelblue being able to reorganize the Department of Ed. Into the different divisions, that won't be challenged. Right? It, it's well, definitely it it's definitely as I, I did. I said in my story, uh, this is definitely a concern for public school advocates and and definitely for Democrats that don't necessarily want to see him get more power or uh, not have those checks and balances within uh, you know the. Uh, f finances and and the governor and then the executive council being able to approve of his appointees uh, they're all concerned that this kind of uh, takes away from uh, public schools and, and and their their agenda so so um, is there any hint as to how this organization reorganization might happen should it pass is there any clues yeah, we're not entirely sure yet it's, it's, it's only a draft amendment so it hasn't been formally introduced to the okay. Senate finance uh, Senate Education Committee uh, so it, it's kind of just being talked about right now but I, I spoke with Senator Reagan yesterday and uh, this is definitely something that he is pushing for and, and will introduce soon um, and should be tacked on to uh, a, one of the an, edu an education bill right now so uh, we'll see what happens with that but uh, we'll see it'll definitely become an issue I think later on um, so do you uh, the education, will that also play into the budget 
more aggressively? Yeah, it will. Specifically, though, in regards to full day kindergarten, um, just because that was something that uh, Governor Sununu really pushed for and even mentioned in his uh, budget address and uh, that this was a priority for him. And originally, the House Finance Committee cut uh, his funding uh, for that. So in the Senate, so, put it back yeah, in. Yeah, and the Senate actually already approved of a bill that would uh, fund full day kindergarten uh, for the for towns and uh, cities that want it. Um, but now that they're actually going through the budget process, we'll see if it really makes it in there. Okay. Okay, and we've, we've got to go to a commercial break. When we return, we're going to continue our conversation, switch tracks, and focus on voting rights laws. So please stay with us.